This pool holds the Guinness Book of World Records title as the biggest pool on earth. Opened in 2006 at the San Alfonso del Mar Resort on the Pacific coast of Chile, this pool, or more accurately speaking, man-made lagoon, was designed by Fernando Fishman of Crystal Lagoons Corporation and took over five years to construct. The pool is a staggering 3,323 feet long. That's six-tenths of a mile. The next largest pool in the world is less than half that length. It has a surface area of 20 acres and holds 66 million gallons of salt water. Roughly the equivalent of 100 Olympic-sized swimming pools or 6,000 backyard pools with a maximum depth of 115 feet it is also one of the deepest pools in the world just 16 feet shy of the record so where does all this water come from it's actually seawater in effect the pool is an extension of the nearby pacific ocean the water is treated and filtered before it enters the pool ensuring it is crystal clear there are no artificial chemicals used and no waste water goes back into the sea. It's all filtered and recirculated. The sun heats the water in the lagoon to nearly 10 degrees warmer than the nearby ocean, resulting in an average 80 degree year-round temperature. There are real sand beaches all along the shore. 3,500,000 pounds of sand. There's even an interior pool covered by a dazzling steel and glass pyramid. So you can still take a dip if it starts to rain. But with all that space, you can do a lot more than swim. The area is so massive, you can kayak, sail, jet ski, and use other small watercraft. You can even scuba dive. And best of all, you don't have to worry about the pool filling up with people, unless the entire population of Santiago drops in for a dip. Space shouldn't be an issue. Swimming pool design frequently requires that one push the boundaries of what is possible. And this next pool, designed by Skip Phillips for the Reed family in Del Mar, California, is a one-of-a-kind creation. I say, my word. <laughs> Look at this! This 12,000 gallon chlorine pool sits in the middle of an intricately designed home, all on a hill with a steep grade. Due to the size of the lot, the architects designed the living spaces of the home vertically, which required the pool to be built with some unique innovations. Wow, how did this design come about? We had a lot of uh, design constraints. Uh, there's some elevation and view.